is I, Hewlett, and instead of being in my fan cave today, I'm slightly beside it in our green screen studio. I say our because my poor son, Sebastian, was uh, roped into painting this with me. Uh, he was a very good sport about it. I had to do some green screen work for Byron Atkinson Jones's Caretaker video game. Very cool VR thing you've got to look at. The arrival of one of these ships in such an impaired state has uh, got people pretty excited. It's so cool. And actually, I'm looking forward to having some chats with him to talk about the whole indie game process. This guy is doing it all himself. He's an indie game developer in the most indie of game developer ways. Um, and I'm looking forward to sharing some chats with him in the future about the process of making video games and stuff. And that's the whole reason for this. I actually had this set up yesterday for an audition that I did. Oh, auditions. Oh, man. You know, I love acting. I hate being an actor. The whole process drives me Crazy! Anyways, done. And I thought, why tear it all down? Why not just, uh, you know, record here? It makes, uh, makes sense. If it's good enough for famous directors, I think it's probably good enough for you guys. I'm hoping. Maybe not. The green screen give me anything I want. So, upgrade required. I have been working away at Mindstorms, making my poor uh, McKay action figure's life misery and wearing off large chunks of his hair in the process, it turns out. I am a highly sought-after collectible action figure, not a guinea pig. Basically, what I'm trying to do is follow up on Q's suggestion, which is, instead of coming up and over to rotate the head, um, having a sort of spine-like structure that would do it for him. And the idea there is that it could actually replace the back of his wheelchair, and he could actually have a self-supporting robotic um, uh, spinal system as well that you could add extra arms to, and he could become basically Doc Ock. Wouldn't have the spine to finish you! Yeah, so I've been trying to play with that. I'm sort of coming up against a few problems. Mainly being, I don't have quite the right parts in the Lego kit to make it happen. So I feel like I'm trying to design around the Lego parts rather than what would actually work in real life. We'll see, it's fun. Actually, we had a, a pest control guy come by yesterday because I had seen our dog frolicking in the backyard with what I thought was a small puppy. It turns out it's, it's called a Norwegian blue rat. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> Yeah, well, apparently there's like these giant freaking rats in our backyard. So I had these guys come by, and they came by, and they, they sort of caught me playing with an action figure of myself and, and, and Lego in the middle of the day. You know, it's work. It's what I do. No, my thing. It's fine. I'm sure they were happy. There's a little story for them to tell. I started doing some research into sort of robotic arms and what was available and what I needed, and I started looking actually at servos and and uh, stepper motors and Arduino, because I have the Arduino starter kit and I've been having so much fun with that. Uh, Sebastian and I have got little lights flashing, or you know, LEDs flashing, and changing the intervals with the programming and just really enjoying that. So I'm looking forward to playing with the, the motor and more robotic side of that. If anyone has any suggestions for tutorials or people I should be talking to about that, do let me know. I am constantly scouring the internet for upgrade required related technologies and news and that kind of stuff. And a couple of things caught my eye that I wanted to share with you this week. The first technology that I have to share with you, because it just, I just, the whole concept of it kind of blew me away. It's this thing called a light-induced actuating nanotransducer, which is quite a mouthful, but basically it's just a nano-sized pump or motor. The big problem with the whole idea of like, nanoparticles in your body running around doing things is how do you power them? How do they have enough strength to do the things you need them to do? Like they pump the right medications into the right places or destroy uh, you know, cancer cells. How do you make something so small do the amount of work required to actually of, of have, be of some use within the body? So these guys have come up with this incredibly simple sounding concept, which if I've got my head around is just, I think, is, is brilliant. So it's, it's, a, it's this polymer layer that holds these little tiny, you know, I guess atom-sized particles of gold, which when you hit with a laser, expand and contract with such force that it could do serious amounts of work. Now, they haven't harnessed that or anything at this point, but they've created the concept, like a proof of concept for it, uh, kind of like my... My Lego Mindstorms. Oh, sure, some serious leading edge university level research happening here. Maybe not. I stumbled across this company called ModBob, which is creating a modular robotic system. So, from scratch, you have a bunch of servos and connector pipes, basically, that you plug together in whatever configuration you want, and you create a rap like a rapid prototyping of robotics. And they have a couple of great examples. They have, like, an example of this robotic arm with a camera on it that you could control, an artificial leg replacement that could be done with it. You can tie it into sensors and all sorts of stuff. It just sounds ideal for someone like Q and what we're trying to do with our, with our upgrade requirements. Because for every 
you know, for every person like you who wants, you know, a head to rotate and, 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 and or, or robotic arms or whatever, they have to be configured specifically for each person. So the idea of having something that could be rapidly prototyped, even on the spot for these people, would be just awesome. I would very much like to talk to them about it because I think there's some, there's some really neat uh, uh, crossover there with what they're doing and what we could be doing as well. Humans. So those are some of the technologies and news and just the things that have got me excited this week and I'm hoping to keep you posted more on this sort of upgrade required related things. Um, so until we geek again, cheerio!